I didn't know whether this uh, rally was going to be on today. In the support of the grandmothers against removal. I was that frustrated, I was that angry, we've come this far. We didn't have a grandmother against removal. We held all our um, feelings all back to ourselves here. I sat with many women in the parks, under the bridges, you know, on the streets. And we kept all this to ourselves. We didn't have anyone to talk to. And um, I'm so proud of Vanessa. Thank you, Vanessa, for um, getting this grandmother yeah. against We need help and, and we're in a struggle here against this battle. And I'd like to thank all the um, our sisters and our nieces and nephews, so I call them now from the East Coast, uh, coming down to Madagascar up and uh, standing there. And to stand by our strong over here too, the grandmother gets removal. Also the great grandmothers. Um, I know I sit back with a lot of people, um, maybe I didn't know the education, the uh, big words that were a thing, but I was told from generation two, I was taken away under the Native Welfare Act because I was classed as an uncontrollable native woman. Uh, I came back and I, I came back strong and I know I had nothing to, uh, to get involved in, I was involved in a lot of things. This movement means so much to me and a lot of my Noongar sisters and my friends and the ones who've passed on before too, who've struggled with their children. Um, I've got a brother here, standing here now and his partner, they're um, struggling also with, their, um, with his grandchildren. He's got two granddaughters in Cairns, separate places, they've been separated. They don't even know each other in this 21st century. They don't even know what a Noongar is. And he's here to try to tell his story and looking for support too. He's been in the background, we've been arguing, people just sitting crying. And with the strength of all you East Coast mob and Vanessa and all the brothers from all over, thank you for getting this off the ground and we are going to make it. Yeah.